What's up, YouTube? Reverend Bob here. Oops, sorry about the camera. So I wanted to address something to everybody. First off, I'll say my little YouTube thing. Like, share, subscribe. You know I love you guys. Trying to get up to uh, 500 subs. But, you know, I mean, my overall goal is whatever. The sky's the limit, right? But, um... You know, and I appreciate all your help and all your contributions. I mean, I do a lot of different things that other YouTubers don't do. And I'm a collaboration of many different people. So, um, I just want to thank you guys. Anywho, I'd like to uh, educate you a little bit today. Firstly, um, I've been noticing that... <laughs> Lately, everybody's kind of, I don't know if it's stress or what's going on, right? But I noticed that there's an increase in the volume of people getting upset. <laughs> I mean, I think we all get upset. I think we all get pissed off. And I think we all, you know, wish things were a little bit better, right? I guess that just goes to say. But, guys... <laughs> Some days it just gets out of hand. So, uh, you know, we could try a little harder to be a little nicer. <laughs> I mean, it happens to all of us, right? Shake hands or, you know, just put your big boy panties on and say you're sorry and move on. Don't carry it on and talk for three hours and la, 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 la. Okay? We're bigger than that. And that's all I'm going to say about it. But I see that there's been an increase. And I think, you know, look, there's a lot of stress for all of us, right? I mean, we're all pretty stressed out with all this crap going on with the COVID thing, right? Which, you know, that's a different story. But, you know, let's try to keep it on the cool, right? Keep it on the cool. Cool. All right. I've said about that. Now, next. I had some people in the family, and this has happened a couple of times lately, asking me about making specific types of purchases. I.e., eBay rolls of Morgan's. Right? Morgan Silver Dollars and... They say, oh, they got these little stacks. They're little stacks of 10. And they're so cute. And they're old. No, they're not. Let me explain. Um, the U.S. men and the banks back in the day, right? When they were issued. They came in bags, guys. They came in big, big bags, right? I don't know, a thousand or whatever they were. Right? So they came in bags. And that's why you see them dinged up and scratched and whatever, okay? They didn't come in rolls, guys. Very rarely did you ever see them in rolls. Um, some banks did re-roll them, but it was, you know, far and few between. Most of the Morgans that you see out there in circulation, okay, they were not in rolls. Okay, there's people doing scam stuff out there, right? Just to get you to buy a roll where they can make an extra, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 bucks. Now, look, if you was buying it from a family member and they just did it as a mystery and you was doing it for a good cause or whatever and you knew the person and you knew that they just put random stuff in there and you knew it was good quality and you knew there wasn't no fakes, you know, well, that might be different. But this is not the case. You know, uh, these guys are doing some wacky stuff. I've been studying it, and it seems as though, you know, people are doing some crazy stuff. Switching stuff around, putting cars and cities on the end, putting BU on the end, you know. Uh, no. I would suggest you stay away from it. Okay, that's just my personal opinion. Just stay away from it. You know, 
be careful. There's a lot of fakes and a lot of twisted stuff going on these days, guys, you know? Um, now, you can do whatever you want to do, but I'm warning you. I know I've been collecting Morgans for a long time. When it's an Morgan emergency, Reverend Bob is coming. So, with that being said, be cautious about buying stuff from people, okay, that you don't know. All right? I'm not saying that because I just want you to purchase stuff from me. That's not why I'm saying it. I'm saying it because I want to protect you. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on these days and people do, uh, don't care. They don't care. You know, all of a sudden there's 10 trillion people that are the smartest people on the face of the earth on YouTube doing coins. Highly unlikely. They might be doing some research, but they don't have years of understanding of coins. Not all of them. There are a few. There's a few. And most of them are dealers. You know, dealers see coins all the time, right? And, you know, I have uh, worked in the industry and been collecting in the industry for 45 years. So I'm telling you, you got to be careful, okay? If it looks too good to be true, it probably is. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay? So be careful with your Morgans when you purchase them. Any kind of coin, you know. Uh, be careful when you're buying pennies. Right? Like the 1909 SVDB. Right? Okay. Give you a little history. I don't think there's any coin that's ever been copied as much as that one. As a fake. And I'd hate to see you guys, and even they slip by us. They slip by, you know, people who are collectors and educators and uh, dealers. They slip by us, guys. You know? I mean, there's some really, really good fakes out there. So, you know, unless you know the people, you know, don't do it. All right? That's what Reverend Bob is telling you. Okay? Be patient. Wait. Ask one of us. You know, we'll try to find you some stuff that's, you know, at your price point. I'd rather take the time and do that for you or hunt for something for you rather than to watch you go out there in the world and get taken. All right? Pennies, man, 1909 SVDB, if it looks like it's only $10 and looks like a beautiful coin, forget it. It's not, all right? Trust me, it just doesn't work that way, guys, all right? It doesn't. It's rare. And if you look at somebody's feedback, you got to look real hard because when you look at all the people that, you know, and their feedbacks up in the right-hand corner there. I don't know if anybody's ever explained this to you guys, but, you know, people can go back and give money back or fix something or give them some money back on their order or whatever. But you got to look in that little box. There's a little box over there, all right, on that page. And it tells you, you know, um, neutral feedbacks and negative feedbacks. So... Look at the number in there. Alright? Gotta be careful, guys. Just be careful. You know, eBay's tricky. If you don't know how to buy on eBay, I suggest, you know, just be careful when you're buying specific coins on the collectible level. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to um, give you some advice. You don't have to take my advice. I'm just trying to put that information out there to make it a little safer for you guys. Alright, because you know how I am. I love you guys, and I love to have fun, and I love to sell stuff, but the but is, you know, you got to be careful when you're dealing with certain coins. You know what I mean? And um, that's a fact. I mean, something's only worth what you're willing to pay for it, but if it ain't real, and you thought it was real, and then you find out later it wasn't, you know, that's kind of poopy caca, right? <laughs> so, let's be careful. All right? 
Outside of that, uh, I might have a little educational auction on Thursday night. Right around 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Just like, you know, sell a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Um, and I can educate you a little bit on what I know. All right. Maybe we can try looking at some coins and try to grain them out. What up? Have a little fun. All right. And I will be having another auction on Sunday. So there's a lot of little things going on, you know. Lots of things coming up in the future. Mail's backed up. I had some special stuff coming. I don't know where it's at. And like everybody, you know, we get a little nervous because, you know, things are stuck out there in limbo. Not knowing when they're coming. So, you know. Right along with everybody else, you know, I'm right there with you. So, we'll get through it. We'll figure it out. Alright, guys, I ain't got much more. I got some other stuff I'm working on um, for the holidays. But I'm not going to tell you because it's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys, I love you. Take care. Like, share, subscribe. Um... You know, be safe out there. Be careful. Watch out for one another. It's a crazy, crazy world. There's a lot of things going on. A lot of upset people right now. Don't get caught up in the mess. All right? There's a lot of hype. Too much hype. People need to start settling their mouths down. Because, you know, when people start complaining too much, and they start spreading false information... You know, in the media, that becomes dangerous. And they don't realize that because they've been getting away with that stuff for a long time. Well, what's going to end up happening is one day, people are not going to be playing. And it's going to cost somebody their life, and that's going to be it. It's going to be, you know, a fight or worse. So, don't get yourself mixed up in all that junk. Most of you don't. Most of you guys know how it works anyway. But I'm just saying. Be careful. You know. Be careful. Most of us don't like to hang out with them kind of people anyway. Because you know. We know that all it is is a bunch of BS anyway. So. I caution you to be wise and stay away. Okay. What else do I got? Anything? I don't think so. It'll be a nice quiet Tuesday, hopefully. Um, what else do I got? Can't think of anything else right now. Um, I got some other information I'm going to be coming out with later on throughout the week. Uh, some different family, people in the family's businesses that are doing, you know, they, they got some specials they're running in their businesses. Um, not the auctions, but their actual businesses. So if you can, take advantage of those things. They could use your help. And they are reputable people. So, Alright guys. I guess I'll talk to you later. I love you. Take care. Like, share, subscribe. And remember, count your blessings, not your burdens. Reverend Bob is out of here. And we will see you soon. See ya!